Hi everyone, it's Veronica. Thanks for joining me for this video. So these, this is going to be my video hair series. I know a lot of people have questions about sort of my hair washing routine, my styling routine, and how I keep it styled between washes. So I'm going to kind of film what I do um, day to day with um, my blow dry routine and curling and dry shampoo and how I go um, how I put my hair up to go to bed and everything and then I hope that will give you all an idea of how to make your style last a little longer um, you know as you know it's really based on hair type how much oil your hair produces naturally um, you know the texture of your hair whether your hair can hold style and retain volume so a lot of it is just really individual and that's probably why this works for me it may not work for everyone but I've gotten a lot of requests to um, talk about it more so that's what I'm doing and today um, as you can see, so this is just my hair blow dried. Um, I set it in some um, Velcro rollers like I usually do on day one, which is the day that I wash it. So today is Thursday, so I'll have my hair Thursday through Sunday, and then um, usually then I'll wash it Monday and wear it Monday through Wednesday, and then Thursday I'll wash it again. So Monday through Wednesday I have like three day hair, and then um, Thursday through through Sunday, I just have fourth day hair um, being my last day, just because on weekends, like we're usually just running around and doing errands and doing fun stuff with the baby. So I don't really feel the need to like style it or for it to look exceptionally good or anything. Um, so anyway, so this is my first day hair after I've blow dried it and set it in rollers. It's kind of like flatter than I like it. I really need a trim. Um, I just haven't made time to do it, but I do really need a trim because I like it to have a little more shape typically, but this is it. Um, and it's just straight. It has a little bit of kind of shape to the ends because of the rollers, but because I haven't had it cut in a while, um, it's not really retaining that as well as it should. Um, but I do have a post that talks all about, um, what products I use to achieve the blowout and it shows like a step-by-step. -step. It's really old, but it's still the same routine that I do. And I might, I might redo it to kind of get some better photos for it, but it's the exact same routine I've been doing, um, for years and years. Um, so again, this is day one, straight hair that's been blown out. I use certain products in it. I do think that the volumizing products help extend um, the length of your blowout, so I think it's important to find the products that work for your hair, but I will, I will um, show you all what I use for my hair. Um, anyway, so again, day one, straight hair, um, blown out, and then day two, three, and four, I'll kind of show you how I um, retain my style in between then. So thanks so much, and I'll see you um, in the next part of this video. Hi everyone, so it is day two of the four day hair video, and so yesterday you'll remember I blew it out and it was straight, and then this morning I just went ahead and used my one and a quarter inch or one and a half inch, um, I forget which one it is, but I'll put it in the notes below, um, Hot Tools Curling Iron, and I just went through and, you know, curled a few sections on each side um, and that's all I did I just slept with my hair up in a top knot took it down brushed it out with a big paddle brush and then I just went and curled it you know section by section on each side and I do have a video that shows the technique that I used to do that so I will link that down below as well um, I don't think I did like a super great job curling it today I feel like it usually looks a little more curled and sometimes the more curled it is, the better it looks on day three and four. Um, but we are going, um, my husband and I are going to the Jay-Z and Beyonce concert tonight. So I may touch it up if it kind of falls out or it might, um, it might not by the end of the day, but I just added some hairspray um, just to the ends of my hair to kind of hold the curl in. So day two, I almost always curl it. Um, the very rare time I won't um, is if I brush it out after um, sleeping with it in a top knot and it just kind of has a little bit of bendiness to it that looks like it's intentional um, then sometimes I'll go ahead and just leave it um, and just use some smoothing cream on the ends but typically day two is when I curl it because that kind of sets the stage for the next days um, and I haven't used any dry shampoo or any additional product other than the hairspray today um, if my ends are looking really um, kind of frazzled I might add a um, and they are, by the way, because I do need a trim, but I might add um, a little glossing cream or a little serum to the ends before I curl it. Um, but I didn't today. I was just wanting to kind of get it over with, so I just added some hairspray when I was done curling in sections. Um, and then again tonight, I'll sleep with it in a top knot, and I'll take it down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and film myself taking down the top knot to show you kind of how crazy my hair looks and then how I 
make it look normal again without doing any additional heat styling. So look for that tomorrow and I'll see you in that next part of the video. Bye. Hi everyone. So good morning. It is day three of um, my hair routine. So it is Saturday morning today and I'm actually have it up in just like a top knot. Um, so I sleep with my hair in a top knot like this on top of my head and the reason I do it is because I feel like it kind of like lifts the roots off of your scalp and helps it retain volume and it keeps the hair out of my face and everything and you know you don't want your hair um, touching your face and everything at night. Um, I obviously did redo this because um, you know I, I showered, I washed my body this morning and then I also um, put on makeup so um, I have to have it out of my face to do my makeup, but I just do the same type of top knot. It kind of turns out different every time. So people have asked for a tutorial and I've kind of been like, uh, sometimes it looks good. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, so I did spray a tiny bit of the, um, suave dry shampoo into my roots last night. And I know it kind of sounds funny to spray sh dry shampoo in your hair at night, but it's kind of almost like a preventative thing. Like as oil's building up overnight, it kind of stops it a little bit. And again, my hair doesn't really get that oily, but I think it helps kind of retain um, some texture and volume in my hair. So um, I haven't touched my hair other than to put it back up again um, in an elastic. Um, I'm a little bit concerned how it's going to turn out today. I think it might not be as good as usual because I actually, my husband and I went to the um, Jay-Z and Beyonce concert last night and we were in downtown Houston and it was like midnight and we were like, walking down the street to go and meet, um, thank goodness my in-laws picked us up because the parking situation was insane. Um, but anyway, we were outside, it was like super humid and gross out, so I think my hair might have been slightly affected by that, but it's the weekend and I don't really care what it looks like, I'm just kind of showing you how I style it, I guess style it without heat. Um, so this is it, it's in a top knot, it's just in one of these elastics, and when I take it down, this is like exactly what it looks like after I sleep on it and I haven't touched it or brushed it otherwise. So as you can see, there's still a lot of like the curl in it, um, but it is like tangled and messy and gross. So what I do is I take a large paddle brush, same brush I use like for blow drying and whatever else I use it for, brushing it out before I curl it, and I just start to kind of brush through it. Um, just so this is just kind of getting the tangles out. You can see it's kind of loosening those waves. And I just brush, brush, brush. Kind of until I feel um, like, you know, all of the tangles are out. And keep in mind, the only product additionally that I've added to my hair is the dry shampoo. So after I do that, I kind of, um, I kind of just work on parting it. And I do a middle part typically. So it's looking more like a side part on camera, but I can't really seem to get it right. Um, anyway, so I, um, I'll part it and for the purpose of this video, it will be slightly off center, but that's okay. And then I kind of put my hair, um, out front and play with it a little. So as you can see, um, so this is the curls that I slept on that are brushed out. So they're a little bit frizzy. They're a little bit, um, sort of not as pretty as they could be. Um, but you can see when you start to smooth it out, it starts to get a little bit of a better shape. So then what I do is I use a product like, um, this is the Fakai um, Glossing Cream, and my nails look terrible, sorry. Um, they're all chipped. Or I also recently bought the Ojon um, Damage Reverse Oil. I haven't used it yet. Um, I mean, I have used it like once last week, but um, for the purpose of this, I typically use the Glossing Cream, so I'm just going to go for that. Um, it's kind of tried and true. I might add in some oil. Like I said, like my hair got extra frizzy um, from being out in the humidity, you know, at night in Houston, so it might not get as good of a result. So I've just rubbed this cream all into my palms. And then what I do is I just go through my ends, focus primarily on the ends, and I'll just go ahead and go through and kind of smooth out the hair smooth out some of these pieces. I do see that I kind of have like a lot more frizziness on top here, um, but that's okay. I just kind of want to show you guys how, um, how I'm sort of smoothing out the curls and sort of getting a look a little bit like I styled it, but I actually didn't. I kind of cheated. I kind of just 
went off of the previous day's style. So I'm going to use a little more of this glossing cream. I just kind of used a tiny amount in the first place, so I don't think I necessarily got enough that first round. Um, and again, you just want to kind of focus it in on those pieces that need a little bit of taming. Um, and again, we're just like running errands today and doing stuff with the baby. And then so after that, I'll kind of start um, scrunching a little bit. So, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's like weekend hair. That's what I call it. It's like weekend hair. So I just scrunch. And as you can see, when I start to sort of add the scrunching and after I've added the glossing cream, it just starts to um, sort of revive those curls a little bit. Um, even after you fresh them out. So, um, so this is fine for me for weekend hair. I mean, um, again, it, it's so much of like a texture thing and a how did you style it before and, you know, how does your hair retain curl? I totally realize this may not work for everybody. Um, I kind of found it by trial and error. I just didn't want to use, um, heat on my hair on weekends and I thought, gosh, like how can I sort of still make my hair look decent but without using heat? So... This was kind of my solution, and I kind of happened upon it by accident. Um, my ends looked really like frizzy one day, so I'm like, well, let me put some cream, and then I started scrunching it, and then it, I noticed it would just revive my curls and sort of smooth them and make them look a little less how when I first took it down, it was like tangled and all over the place. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with how um, it turns out for third day hair. Um, I'm going to probably fix this in the bathroom later when I can kind of see the top a little better, but um, yeah, this is it. So all you added was the glossing cream, and if needed, um, spray a little dry shampoo in your roots. There are times where um, I feel like, oh, my roots could use a little more dry shampoo, so after I do the whole glossing thing, I just do like one quick, you know, overarching spray of the dry shampoo on my roots, and it ends up looking great, and then I just like rub it in with my um, fingers, and I do have a video, by the way, on my channel about um, how to use dry shampoo, and also um, how to use the Bumble and Bumble texturizing cream to kind of do a similar thing to this. Um, I think I think just because I've, you know, been lightening my ends the last couple years, I've been more using a glossing cream because I need the moisture back in my hair um, after heat styling, so um on that third day when I'm not wanting to use any heat at all, I prefer to use like a moisturizing product to um, infuse that back into my ends since they get so dry um, from the um, from the heat styling and coloring. Anyway, this video is like getting, this part of the video is getting way too long. So again, this is the third day hair. And then tomorrow, to be honest with you, I'll basically do the exact same thing I did today. Um, and it, the curls might just look a little bit looser again. But I wanted to show you all um, you know, how I achieve that without heat and how it's just about brushing it out and adding the product. So, um, I will see you all tomorrow, which is going to be kind of a repeat of today. So I will make it much shorter than, um, what I just did now. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi everyone. It's Veronica again. Um, I'm still on day three, but I wanted to come back and film like a really quick sort of second part of third day hair. Um, video because, um, so this morning we had gone out with Harper and then when we got home we were like all exhausted from being up late from the concert and she wasn't, she kind of wasn't herself today and she was extra tired so she took a nap so I took a nap and I just slept on my hair just wearing it down, um, slept on my couch and this is what it looks like. I also feel like the lighting's better right now than it was this morning and I feel like lighting affects how it looks. So this is once again third day hair that, um, I styled earlier this morning in the video, and then I just had a nap on my couch, left it down, um, and as you can see, the curls are still intact, and um, I mean, it's a little frizzy and messy, but whatever, it's weekend hair anyway. So even if I run my fingers through it, the glossing serum that I added earlier um, and everything, it kind of just still is staying texturized, so you can kind of see that um, the curls are still there, and they look pretty good um, for not having done any heat styling to it. So I will see you in tomorrow's video, but I wanted to quickly film this um, to show you kind of how it wears throughout the day. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Veronica again. So we are on day four of this video um, and it is Sunday today. So um, the reason I always do like my fourth day hair on Sunday is because I don't really care what my hair 
looks like on weekends, like unless I had a special event or something on a Sunday, I would just leave it because we're mostly just running errands or like doing stuff with the baby. So again, I really don't care what it looks like, but I also think um, it's nice that I can kind of just brush it out and add a little glossing cream to it and it looks somewhat decent. So as you can see, my hair is just like all piled on top of my head right now. Um, I was just putting some makeup on and um, and I just slept on it. So last night I did go out for Mexican food with friends and we actually sat outside. And like I said, the weather has just been like atrociously humid here. So <laughs> I don't know kind of how it's going to turn out. Um, today like sometimes I'll have like hair that I haven't washed in a few days and it looks amazing and sometimes it's like just sort of okay it might be one of those sort of okay days based on how many times my hair has been exposed for extended period of, periods of time so the humidity but um anyway I'll just take it down so it's just up in an elastic so this is what it looks like um fourth day like not doing anything to it and again I'm just gonna go ahead um you can see the curls like even looser than yesterday and I'm just gonna go ahead and brush it out as usual. Kinda get those tangles out of the ends. Um, so as you can see, it's still got like a little bit of volume there and I do think that sleeping with it up in a top knot, like I suggested, really does help. Um, so let's just see sort of how this is gonna play out. Um, I'll do my part. Let's try to get it even this time, but again, it's not always going to be perfect, but it doesn't matter because um, it's Sunday. Um, so as you can see right now, after I've brushed the curl out of the fourth day hair, it's really, really straight now. I mean, it has like a tiny bit of texture um, towards the ends. And by the way, I am going to dye my hair back a little bit um, darker. I think... I don't know if it's just the way it's showing on camera but I think that it's a little too light for me so this is just the hair brushed out it was really tangly um, so this is it with no um, no additional product added in um, I actually think it looks pretty like decent considering how um, humid it was and maybe that's because I am using um, like the serums in it to kind of keep it um, you know, glossy or whatever. So I'm, I am going to go ahead and use the Fakai cream again. Let's see if I can squeeze some out of this. It's not really, oh, here we go. I don't want to use too much. Um, I'm just going to rub it in my hands and then I'm going to like in a downward motion, just focusing on the ends. I find that that's really what, um, what you need. You don't need to put it all over your hair. Um, I just focus it on the ends and as you can see as I do that sort of scrunching motion it brings back um, it brings back some of those curls that you kind of lost when you brushed it um, but but subtly you know it's not um, it's not too much it's kind of just a little bit of curl back um, and then I might you know just for the purpose of this video I'm not gonna mess with it too much because I just want to show you um, how I did it but I might, you know, repart it or whatever, but I just, the, the whole purpose of making these videos is to show you that, um, you know, you don't have to like heat style your hair every day. And like I said, it might not work if you have like a certain hair texture, if you have more my texture or longer hair um, and hair that holds curl really well, I think that this technique will definitely work for you. Um, you just kind of have to play with it and try it out. And then I also have a whole post, a whole blog post about my hair washing routine and the products I use because I think that makes a difference in how long your blowout lasts. Um, so again, this is just um, adding a little glossing cream, um, scrunching it a little bit. And I think that, you know, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like fantastic. Like I would, you know, first day hair or second day hair, but it's good enough for a weekend. It's good enough for running errands or, you know, going out for lunch or something. It, it's kind of like undone. It doesn't have to be fussy. Um, so I just wanted to show you all how it works and I hope you enjoyed this video series and I will try to um, make some more. I'm just kind of trying to see what the requests are and what people are wanting to see. But um, this was sort of a highly requested one and I wanted to do it because, again, I just wanted to show that you don't have to necessarily style your hair every day and you can definitely get away with extending it, um, you know, through a weekend without having to do much. So, um, again, thank you for watching this series and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.
Hi everyone, it's Veronica. So one last part to this video. I thought I would show um, horse day hair like several hours later in the day. So my first video was filmed um, this morning and then we went out and ran errands and we were outside a lot and um, I just kind of wanted to show um, by the end of the day, you know, you can definitely see that a lot of the curls have gotten a little bit straighter and it's a little more frizzy and kind of um, messy looking, but I did want to kind of just film this last little part to show you that. So um, anyways, thanks again for watching this series. Um, I'm glad I got to kind of show the progression of how everything went from, you know, day one to day four. And um, I hope you found this video helpful and maybe you can use some of the tips um, the next time you're trying to extend your blowout. So I will leave links below. I'm going to do a blog post that shows a breakdown day by day and talks about um, the whole routine and everything. And then I'll also have some pictures. I think um, I'm filming on a MacBook and it's not like as good quality. Um, so I'll leave some pictures as well. I think it reads better in pictures. Um, but in certain lighting, I think in this video it's read pretty well too. But some of the lighting situations have been a little bit um, not ideal. Anyways, um, I wish you all a wonderful day and thanks for watching.